And Greg Allman. Hey, Jaden, just wanted to ask you what this has been like uh, in this second shot in training camp. I know they kind of had to go home early, but to get the call that they needed you back and how you've made the most of it here in the last week or two. Logistics and the business of the NFL, you know, handles, handles those situations. I just make sure I stay ready talking to the coaches and the trainers. Uh, as soon as they called me back, you know, I knew what I was capable of, so I was just ready to go as soon as they called me back. Without a normal preseason with so much less practice time, it's understandable that coaches – um, want to go with things they trust. How much do you think your NFL experience, what you had on special teams and as a receiver, helps you with so little preparation for this season? Uh, it helps me a ton because um, I, you know, I, a lot of people don't know and are shocked and to hear or see what I'm doing. And I've, I've been here, I've been doing it uh, in this league, um, been here for since 2016. So that helps me a lot from, you know, going from practice squad to understanding how to play football uh, at this level and be, you know, an NFL player and take care of your body to, you know, going out there on the field and going in with the offense and knowing what plays matter and which every play does, knowing down and distance and knowing which way the ball turns for each punter and everything like that. So it, it helps a lot. Okay, next is going to be Luke Easterling. And Bruce has talked uh, to us about how, how tight the, the battles are at the at the end of the roster and how special teams are going to be so key in getting those last few spots. You, you just mentioned something as, as simple as, you know, the way the ball turns for certain punters. But what are some of those other things that when it comes to making the teams on special teams, those things that you just have to do well that maybe some fans don't even realize? Well, specifically on uh, fans don't realize in this – it's a lot of different things. They, you know, you got to understand if you're on kickoff and, you know, I might be the L1 or the L2. I got to understand if I'm contained or if I'm the field player, uh, different different types of tackles. They'll turn out, turn in to let you know an indication of what the return is going and where it's, where it's going to be. Uh, so you can get in that hole or contain the ball and fill it for your next guy uh, that's going to be in that hole. Um, so it's a lot of, lot of different logistics to, you know, how many people should be on the field, what's the right – um, call to make um, when you back there, you know, is the wind blowing? Um, how how far is the punter going to kick the ball? Is it 45 net or is it 50 net? Um, you know, is he a right footed punter? The ball's going to fall to my left. Is he a left footed punter? The ball's going to fall to my right. So it's a lot of different things and variations you have to take, uh, be accountable for. And then at the end of the day, you'd be a football player. Okay, next is going to be Rick Stroud. So uh, tomorrow you're going to have kind of a, a live scrimmage and it'll be the first time on special teams that guys will be running down and tackling. For those young guys, uh, how how different is it uh, when you go full speed versus what they've seen out here so far? Uh, a lot more different, a lot more different. At this level, um, you're taught, of course, and you're not taught. You're supposed to go full speed. But at this level, not only going full speed, but you have to be sound. Football has to be sound. I have to know, yeah, I'm going, I'm fighting with this guy, but I have to know once that ball is caught, if I'm on the left side of the, of the, of the punt, coverage I need to finish on the left side because I have a right side that's taking care of their job so it's doing your job along with being that high profile athlete that they expect you to be out there so it, it, it's a lot of different variations especially with receiver you know uh, I might get off the ball and I might see you know man to man and they might roll to cover two so now I know my route variation may change so you have to take all those things into account, especially when you're playing live football. Because of that and because you have experience, it seems like this year, especially with no preseason, these guys don't have any kind of reps to measure on. That should be a, a bonus for you because experience this year more than ever on special teams is going to matter, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, and I always was told, you know, the – the, the vets, they want a lot of vets out there. You know, it's going to be some young guys that is going to be able to contribute and going to be able to do uh, what they need to do. But, you know, when it comes yeah. to the vets and knowing, you know, how to play the game and knowing how important it is without a, a hiccup or a mistake is going to be vital, yeah. for, especially for this football team. Josh Allen. Just, uh, just want to know, what, you know, obviously we've been talking about special teams and his return and everything. And uh, but what's one part of your offensive game that's overlooked? I've seen you, you know, you've had some good chemistry going on in camp lately since you came back. I mean, all of my office uh, game has been overlooked since I've been in the league. Uh, I'm number two all the time at the University of Washington. I'm not trying to brag and boast, but that's just what the stats and the facts are. Um, you know, I, I've been looked at as a receiver, you know, all over my career since high school, uh, dating back to going to All-American games, um, you know. So a lot of teams know every practice squad I've been to, every this I've been to, I've, I've, I've shown out as a reason why I'm still here. So... Uh, I think everything's being overlooked, but, you know, it's, it's up to me 
you know, being undrafted and being a guy that's have to fight every year, no matter, you know what I mean, if, if, if I was the guy that year, this next year I'm still fighting to get to the 53 or 40, whatever it is. Um, and that, that, that's what really matters. So they got to they gotta just look at it and I got to show up every day. And what's it been like having guys like Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and obviously Tom Brady, who's a teacher on the field himself, we've, as we've heard. Uh, what's it like, you know, learning from them and picking their brains to kind of to improve your game? What have you taken away? Oh, it's amazing because um, it's a lot of different things. I'm a different receiver uh, uh, from Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, um, but taking their coaching points on, you know, certain releases and certain uh, variations to this offense that, man, hey, you don't have to move that quick on this because you can just do this. You can stride that out and come out and the ball is going to be right there, you know, without you having to, you know what I mean, do the extras or trying to stick something really hard. So, and, and also with Tom, he just brings a different energy you know, to the room. When, you, when you're in that huddle with Tom or you, when you're in that meeting, he's talking, you just want to be better. You want to do better. You want to go harder. And, you know, he's just that type of guy. You know what I mean? We know he uh, expects perfection. He knows we're not going to be perfect. But if we can get anything close to perfection and strive for it, we'll be in a great position as a football team. So I've been learning a lot from all three guys. And next is going to be Steve Isbitz. Jaden, you played on a team that went almost to the Super Bowl and had a ton of success. Uh, are there any similarities that, as far as energy and just the vibe on the team that you can uh, talk about maybe between what you see with the Bucks and the Jaguars of a couple, couple years ago? Man, it's funny how you say that, man. So, you know, we had – I played with some of the greatest. Uh, I have Ndamukong Sue here. Um, there I had Calais Campbell. Um, you know, I had Miles Jack and, and Telvin Smith there. Here, you know, we, <laughs> we got 45 and 54. They, they – it's, it's, it's a lot of similarities. Everybody's flying around to the ball. It's competition at each position. Uh, it's just not set in stone like, hey, man, this guy, his, his backup is a little – it's like, no, his backup can go. You know, he's on special teams, but he can go. So, you know, from, from our backups, when our twos get in to even our threes, it, it just seems like the balls just keep rolling. It's just going to keep going downfield. It's big plays going to make uh, be made defensively, and then on special teams, everybody is fighting and and and, and striving to to make this team. And you know, it's, it's it's so much competition. You just embrace it and enjoy it. You don't worry about any cuts. You don't worry about any nothing because you're having so much fun competing out there that the best best players are going to make this football team. And that's the similarity to to what we have in Jacksonville. It's like you know, back home, what we call ratchet. It's just like, man, no holes bar, bro. We're coming to work. We know we're sore. You know, we know we're hurt and we're tired. But when that whistle blow and we're in between those lines, it's full tilt. And we're going to go and we're going to have a great day. Okay. And our next question is going to come from James Wilson. Just It's kind of off the, the back of what Greg was saying. Um, with you coming back, taking your second opportunities, what advice would you sort of give to players who are sort of on roster bubbles at the moment or looking to excel on, on special teams? What have you learned sort of over your travels in the, the, in the NFL? Uh, the first thing um, I let them know, uh, especially if they come to me, you know, if they, if, they, if they see or hear about my story, first thing I let them know is you can control only what you can control. Everything else is going to take. Be the football player that you know you can be. Be the, the, the talented guy, but hone in on the little things of being a professional football player. And that's just not making big plays, being in the right position. That's taking care of your body. Because we can go five days straight and you can go crazy, but the next two or three days, you know, it can, it can lash off and you can't get to that deep post because your legs are too tight and you got blisters or, you know, you can't, you know what I mean? You're, you're not focused enough to, to, to go to the next play because now, you know, six days straight, you're tired and you can't really focus. So I just let them know, just control what you can control and everything else, that, uh, it'll take care of itself. Our last question is going to come from Alex Fleming. With the competition on special teams and at the wide receiver position, how exactly are you planning on making an impact this year, knowing that this could be a special year? Uh, me personally, I understand it's a special year. I've been a part of special year. I mean, one special year, you know, and maybe two when I was with the Raiders when we went to the playoffs one year. But that's not, you know what I mean, really what I focus on, on being a special year. What I can control is what I can control at the end of the day. And each day on in that training camp and we go out there, that next play is, is what I can control. Big play, you know, not dropping the ball, running your precise routes, catching every punt, catching everything thrown my way. If I'm, if I, if I'm not getting the ball, I'm open. Um, you know, special teams, they see me running down hard. They see my leverage, my fits. You know, when, when I can dominate that in, within myself, I know come game day and, 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 and they allow me to be on that 
40, 45, 48 man roster and allow me to be anywhere out there on that field, I'm going to bring my best stuff. Appreciate you guys.